Papyrus Power co-founder and CEO Mike Laufer joins us now. It's a first on CNBC interview. It's good to have you, uh, Mike, and congrats on obviously a very important deal for your company. You know, Diana was talking about any number of um, uh, companies that are looking to uh, move forward when it comes to SMRs. Is there a lot of competition for the likes of Kairos out there, or is there just a, enough demand to meet all of that uh, competitive need? So, David, thanks for having me. Um, first off, we, uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of need and demand in this space. Uh, we follow the, the progress with, with all of the developers, uh, but, and we're happy for them. We wish them the best. There's no shortage of need for, for carbon-free power. We're excited about our, our agreement with Google and uh, the future prospects that it has for our partnership to deploy uh, 500 megawatts of new capacity, and that new capacity is key. Uh, and able to kind of expand and, and allow for future expansion as well. So we're excited about the partnership with Google, and we're looking forward to what it brings. Yeah, and I want to ask you more about that. I'm curious, though, you know, we talk so often here, perhaps you watch, about the need for power right now being fairly urgent. Obviously, these plans and these um, plants are years away. How do you square those two issues, uh, you know, in terms of why not deliver the power or can we deliver the power now as opposed to five years from now at the earliest? Yeah, so the reality is that, that nuclear technology, uh, it's, it's complex. It takes more time to develop. Um, the small reactors provide a lot of economic opportunity as well as, as improved safety, which is exciting. Um, Google has been a kind of a front runner in its, its vision for enabling uh, new carbon-free technologies for, for a long time. And they view kind of their portfolio here as, as a combination of near-term, medium-term, and long-term options. And uh, we're excited that they've, they've chosen our technology and the partnership with us for, for those longer-term needs. Uh, we are uh, not that far off. Uh, Kairos is focused on the deployment of our, a smaller demonstration reactor, the Hermes reactor in Tennessee, uh, in the, just the next few years. We have a construction permit for that project. Uh, and that really sets the stage uh, for, for these deployments with, with Google uh, with the first commercial scale reactor uh, targeting to, to be online by, by 2030. Right. You mentioned that demonstration reactor. You also say that you're going to build on the progress from the early iterations and that each new plant will enable continued learning and optimization to support accelerated commercialization. What gives you the confidence that you're going to be able to continue to iterate to, to meet these development targets that are cited there um, and, you know, essentially provide the power that you're promising, Google? Yeah, great question, David. So, so nuclear power suffers from from two challenges, and and they're both really challenge, you know, really really big. The first one is is just high cost, and so having the technology and the development and the deployment process to drive down cost is is essential. The other is cost certainty, and the combination of those make makes new project development extremely challenging. Um, so it's not just about the technology. A lot of it is about uh, the process for deployment. And for Kairos, uh, we have what we think is a really novel iterative development approach that, that allows us to build things. We're building large hardware systems. We have uh, you know, a full-scale test for our Hermes reactor, uh, which we've completed running. We're, we're breaking down right now in Albuquerque, and we're going to actually build another one uh, over the next uh, a few months as we, we get more, more prototypic of the actual reactor system. That's a non-nuclear test. It allows us to go fast. It allows us to understand the real cost of the system. And then the Hermes reactor also allows us to, to really understand what the construction risks are and to do it at smaller scale and much lower cost than the commercial scale. So we have all that information coming in. So when we get to the, the, the projects and, and the, the, the plants for Google, they're really not first-of-a-kind systems. They're building off of all of that real construction and build experience uh, that we're developing right now.